uh, saying like um, answer question word shortly like sure. uh, what is your favorite food bill Pelly many for many 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 reasons. Pelly was it? many? Yes, not until I got to Ukraine, but pel pasta. Uh, pelly many. Pelly many. Ah, you. It was from childhood, no? No, I picked it up in Ukraine. I've liked pasta all my childhood, but when I got to Ukraine, it was first in, introduced to. to yeah. And, and the way I pronounce it is how an American would pronounce it. Okay. Pelly many. Pelly many. Pelly many. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite music? Oh gosh, uh, that's a hard subject. Uh, I like pop. I I grew up with pop, so your I like pop. Song? God, my favorite song is whatever I've listened to. My favorite Broadway musical is Hamilton. Now I have a half the soundtrack on my thing, but that's my favorite Broadway musical. Uh, I really like Broadway, but my father liked Broadway, so that was my influence. Okay. Cool. And what is your favorite film? Star Trek First Contact, but I like Star Trek. I am a big fan of Star Trek, and that goes down a whole rabbit hole. I like my favorite non-Star Trek film uh, has to be Sound of Music, but that's because our family watched it every year religiously because my mother loves that film. What's your favorite book? Ah, too many. Uh, Profiles and Courage has to be one of my favorite books. Uh, Profiles? Written, Profiles and Courage, written by JFK, mm -hmm. and it's a history of uh, brave people in American history. Your favorite person is JFK, right? One of my favorite presidents is JFK. Um, my favorite person, I would have to say, changes depending on who I'm talking about. My favorite American president uh, is split in between, <laughs> and you're going to get four. George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, John F. Kennedy, and Ronald Reagan. Mm -hmm. And I have all reasons why I like them. I like Barack Obama, and he will probably be on that list at some point, but he's too recent in the past. I, I like Washington, Lincoln, JFK, FDR a little bit, but he's not on the, on the top of the list. And I like Ronald Reagan because I grew up under him, and I like some of his ideas. Cool. So, yeah. How your favorite uh, Saturday, or not Saturday, like free day looks like? Plan for a day. Plan for a day. My favorite kind of free day is when I can go visit friends or I have time to play video games. It really depends on what I'm feeling like. If I feel like I'm not feeling great, I want to stay in, I want to be able to play video games, no interruptions, me with a drink, some food, play video games. Otherwise, if I can go out with friends, I want to go out, I want to do things. If it's Sunday and I know people, I want to go to church, uh, but it only... Really, I go to church for religious reasons, but I enjoy knowing that friends will be there as well who I can talk to afterwards and figure out how to do things afterwards. I really enjoy those kind of things. I like free days with friends and going and seeing things. What do you enjoy doing every evening? Every evening I like first looking at my Facebook and interacting with friends and family on Facebook. Then I like either deciding I'm going to watch something on Netflix or some streaming service or decide to shut everything off and play a video game until I decide that it's time to go to bed, which can vary depending on how tired I am or whatever else is going on. But in the evening, I will usually do something online. I will do some kind of activity. Uh, if I need stuff, if I need to go to the store, I will wait till the evening sometimes, sometimes morning, sometimes evening. I don't like going to the grocery store when it's super busy. Unless it's like something I need now, like I'm going to have a party and I need something now, then I will go during the day. What makes you happy? Feel happy? Helping other people, um, playing video games, listening to music. It depends on my mood again. I like, I really do enjoy uh, helping people through Child with a Future, doing my job. I really enjoy that. And what makes me mostly happy is spending time with family, friends, different things. And what makes you sad? Really, it's going to sound corny, but I don't like it when people get hurt. I don't like injustice. I don't like it when things don't make sense. Like, I get really angry when something should make sense. And then I'm sitting looking at the problem and going, but why? You know, and everyone's like, it doesn't make sense to us either, but there's no reason to be angry. And I'm like, no, I'm angry simply because it should make sense. And everyone's like, Bill, don't get angry over something you can't change. And it's like, 
but it should make sense. It should work. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big difference in between autistics like myself and other people. As many times we'll be like, it should work, so that's why I'm upset. Where everyone else is like, don't be upset. We all understand it doesn't work. And we're like, nope, we're upset because it should work. But what makes you fun? What's fun? Yeah, I like playing happy. basketball. I like playing video games. I like playing with my friends. Uh, playing sports with my friends, hanging out with my friends, going to dinner with family and friends. Those kinds of things make me happy. Uh, going to the movies. Oh, gosh. I haven't been to the movies so long. Um, next time I'm in Kiev, because I'm heading out for a week to go celebrate a birthday. Next time I'm in Kiev, I need to go to the English movie showings. Somebody finally goes, hey, Bill, there's theaters that show stuff in English. I finally found the website for you. I haven't been to the movies since the beginning of the pandemic, so I'm sitting here going, at some point I'm going to go to an English movie and keep it. Did you ever had, uh, have you ever had uh, love drama, heartbreak? Yes. Um, I've had girlfriends, I've had things. I, I want to have a family someday. And, no, and no, no, but did you have like this? Yes, I have, it, but it's hard to explain how. Yeah. It, 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 it's not simple. Because it's like, I know I've had heartbreak, but explaining the heartbreak is very hard. But do you believe in love? Oh, definitely. Absolutely. It's just hard to explain and even harder to deal with when you're dealing with another person and going, but I told you that. I did do that thing. Okay, whatever. <laughs> do you fall in love easily? I wouldn't say easily, but yes i can sometimes and other times it's like it takes a while to earn my trust it depends uh, which kind of person has to be to make you fall in love that i don't know because i'm still learning that i my type of person has changed from somebody who's very open to uh, it used to be somebody who was fun loving now i'm more for a person who's open a little bit fun loving but if they're open more than fun loving so it's changing with my age you know it, it happens i can see you make uh, you love to make friendships right so is it absolutely love to make friends i absolutely love spending time with friends um and friendships are, are really kind of what i live for um they're harder because i'm autistic and sometimes they don't last because i can't do everything like everyone else but I try to make them work. And I have more friends in Ukraine than I do in the States because people are super interested. Once they get to know me, they're like, oh yeah, you're not that bad. Where in the States, people may not even give you a chance and it's like, eh, whatever, nah, not anymore. So that, that, I do like it. It doesn't always work out, but I like it. I also don't like, I, I'm learning how to deal with toxic people because oh, that, 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 that's completely yeah. different. What makes you disappointed? Oh, okay, that's not an easy one because many things can make me disappointed. When people make promises and then don't try to keep them, mm -hmm. I can get disappointed. If people don't try really hard at certain things, I get disappointed. If people decide to do certain things to me because they don't want to deal with something. I mean, there are a thousand reasons. A lot of the time it has to do with, uh, with when people start like discriminating or giving me trouble because I'm different and they didn't before. I will get really angry at this really quickly and I get angrier when I watch that happen with somebody I work with or somebody I know who's autistic. Yeah. Where it's like all of a sudden their friends start being jerks to them and they're unaware of it. But I'm aware that their friends are turning on them. And it's like, no, that, that's not right. That, that, that's what gets me upset. Do you have any fears? Are afraid of something? Uh, yes, but, but they're complicated. I mean, they're the same fears everyone has. The fear of dying, the fear, I have a fear of heights, I have a fear of certain sounds, certain things, but yes, yes, you know, you, you get those things. What is uh, your ideal holiday? Sea or mountains or ski or... Uh, my ideal, I prefer the sea. Now, I like mountains, I like hiking in the mountains, 
but my ideal holiday is kind of on the sea, swimming, doing things. I mean, I'm, I'm really kind of one of these people who likes swimming, but that's winter. Yeah. But my ideal holiday in winter is to go somewhere with friends, skiing to the mountains, whatever. I do not, nobody likes being alone on the holidays, but especially me. I will go out of my way to find a way to be with people 